Okay, today we're going to look at a technique that will speed up the creation of patterns and objects in your uh, CAD system. Instead of having, if you have uh, features you want to create multiple copies of the same shape, instead of having to draw each shape, you can draw one shape and then use the pattern command to duplicate it in a linear, rectangular, or circular pattern. So I've already created my 5 by 10 rectangle here, and I've already extruded it to a quarter of an inch. So we're going to work on this plate here today and add some patterns to it. So I'm going to click on a new sketch. I'm going to click on this top surface, hit N on the keyboard to make it normal. I'm going to start with just a simple circle here. And again, the size of the circle really doesn't matter, but I would keep it small enough so you have room to do your patterns with. Now, I created my first circle, but I want to make a pattern of circles. So I come over here to the pattern command. And I choose linear pattern. You have to tell it what you want to do the linear pattern on. So you click on the circle. And it gives you a bunch of confusing arrows and numbers. I'm going to click on this arrow so we can see it better. And you notice now it's telling me I have one row of three columns. So if you just want a linear pattern, you change this number. And it makes a row of five. One row of five. If you want to make a rectangular pattern, you change this number and add some rows. So now we have three rows of five or 15 circles just in the click of a button. I'm going to finish my sketch now. I now have 15 of them. I'm going to go to isometric. I'm going to extrude these. So I need to make sure I pick the action. Don't pick this part. Pick the actual circle. I'm going to click on the circles here and notice it grabs them, assuming I want to extrude it up by an inch, which, of course, we want to take these away and make holes out of them. Uh, you will discover on some patterns you can actually sweep a rectangle across all of them at once and select all 15 at one. I'm doing them individually just to show you that can be done. And then we want to change over here from extrude. We want to change from add to remove. And it takes that away, and then we click on the check mark. So there, I have created a, um, I have created a plate with 15 holes in it, and just like that, very quickly. Now you can also do this with a rectangular pattern. So let's go back. I mean, with a uh, a circular pattern. So let's go back and let's add a new sketch to the surface over here. Go to N. This time I'm going to put in some squares maybe. Put a little square here or a rectangle. Not being, being too exact, I'm just learning the pattern command here. This time I'm going to go to the circular pattern. I'm going to tell it I want this shape, so I'm going to have to drag across it so I can pick all four of them, right? Notice it puts, it assumes you want it at the origin, but I'm going to drag the center point over here. So it focuses my circle in this area here. Right now it's saying you want three in the circular pattern. I can double click and change that, say, to six. And now I have six squares evenly spaced around the circle here that I drug over. Finish my sketch. There's my six. So what I'm going to do now is go to isometric. And I'm going to extrude those. One, two, three. I kind of like to watch them come up individually. Five and six. And I want to make this a, a half an inch. And there's my little extruded uh, protrusion sticking up. And there you go. You sort of have uh, the essence of what we're going to be doing. You're going to be adding some hexagonal shapes too. And a little bit different criteria than what I created here. But this will give you a good idea on how to make use of the pattern command to speed things up.